Welcome to my channel. For those of you who have clicked on here for the first time, my name is Angela Adriano and this is a brand new project for me. Um, so please excuse all the kind of little quirks. I'm not a professional vlogger just yet. Um, today I wanted to talk about myself you know, give you a bit of context and background on me and why I'm doing this. And also, um, I wanted to try out and review a bunch of Bedellium brushes. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Here's one of them. Okay. So that's like a super professional line that is used by industry professionals um as well as um makeup artists special effects artists you know in tv fashion etc so um it's a brand from la so we'll talk about that in a minute um i wanted to talk a little bit about myself and why i'm doing this channel first and foremost i was a i'm a former makeup artist i have 13 years of experience under my belt I worked, um, the first makeup job I had was in retail, a lot of retail, a lot of training in retail. <laughs> um, then I uh, started, then I started in bridal. That was kind of like, I guess that's the natural segue after you've done a lot of clients in retail. Then I worked as an assistant on film and television and fashion. This was all done in Australia. Sydney, Australia, where I'm from. And um, so I went to a course, I did a course in Sydney, Australia um, with a brand and that's how I kind of started my the basis of my makeup training. Then um, I worked as an assistant as well as um, on short films and TV commercials in Australia. Uh, then I moved to New York City because I wanted to try the Big Apple it's been 16 years since that move. Um, I also got to work in retail again, and um, I also got to work as an assistant again, and also um, on music videos and things like that as a key. Um, what else? So I worked in makeup as well as, you know, I did like a short stint as an intern for, um, a, mag a couple of magazines. So I learned about makeup from different ends. So like I've learned about makeup through training, on set, um, in retail, you know, with everyday people, and then through the um, beauty editor side as well as um, the film and television side. So I've learned about makeup in all different aspects. And then I also got, you know, just recently, which is not that recently, it's been five years now since I went to beauty school, American beauty school. So I already had my training in makeup in Australia, but I went to beauty school to get um, a license because I wanted to cut hair. And little did I know that was going to be so hard. It was like, beauty school was probably like the hardest thing I've ever done in my 40s. And I'm 45 now. I did it when I was 40. So that was five years ago. So since then, I um, obviously I am a licensed cosmetologist now. And I worked um, in some salons. And I also, right now, I'm just an, an occasional hairstylist. I work for private clients as well as, um, you know, people um, just house calls. So I don't really do that as often anymore. I've kind of tapered off since the pandemic. Um, also, um, okay, what else is there? <laughs> there? I have a degree in communications and that's kind of, so go to school, you guys. I went to, um, university and that's how I met my husband. I have a degree in communications, but I segued into makeup through being a production assistant and learning about the makeup team on set like that. Um, also I, um, let me think, let me think. Okay. 
the most important thing about me, I would say, is being a mother. I am a mother to a 10-year-old beautiful girl here in Brooklyn, New York City. Um, I am also a wife to a, um, a Vietnamese, a, um, Calif uh, new, new, uh, sorry, excuse me, American-born um, guy. <laughs> His name is Nam, and I'm also a dog owner. Um, not brand new, actually, I, I had a dog for a very long time and um, she passed away. But during the pandemic, we got a new dog, so I'm also a dog owner. And not to mention, um, so after I've, after I've kind of like tapered down after the whole pandemic hairdressing thing, um, I tried to get into product development and I and I realized I don't know as much as I used to because I'm not working in all of that field. So I wanted to really make some cosmetic products, you know. So um, I think, you know, like when I was doing my research online, I realized that um, through vlogging and through watching vlogs, there's an opportunity to learn a lot there, not just on a professional level, but just also what people are loving, you know, what everyday people are loving and um, I think that's important because um, you need to know what actually works and what's not working um, so that's me right now I am a mum to a 10 year old and she's also a model a professional child model she's um, on her three year anniversary for that and that is um, a pretty hectic um, it's not just like, you know, my friend taking SLR photos of her or something like that. It's like actual, like she gets paid to do it and I have to be on set. So essentially I am a momager um, and she fits that into her like hectic, hectic, hectic 10-year-old um, life. So yeah, so that's a bit about me. I hope that gives you some context in watching and you're like, why am I watching this woman? Why am I even paying attention? Okay, pay attention because I have some experience and also I'm Australian born, Australian raised. I've only been here in Brooklyn, New York City for the last 16, not only, but I've been here for 16 years. So um, there's that as well. There's the expat angle of, um, but you know, like with the internet right now, everything seems to be global. So let's get started. First and foremost, I wanted to talk about actually real quick. I've, you've probably seen me use this in my videos. This is the Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray and it works. 100% it works. The great thing about this product is that the spray itself is very gentle and you don't feel like you don't feel like a shit of liquid is coming straight at you. It's very, it's very relaxing. And that's the first time I've spoke, I've talked and sprayed my face. As if I tasted a little bit of it um, by accident. <laughs> but basically, I just sprayed that on myself because what I've been learning is that setting, yes, after your makeup, you can do that. Yes, but also setting before you even apply your makeup after your skincare can make a huge difference especially like i'm an oily kind of and i like to put a lot of skincare product on so i feel like that kind of messes with my makeup so i will like let that dry just for a second and i am going to use today the Giorgio armani luminous silk which is a favorite of mine um, I I want to go in and try all my Bedellium brushes, but for some reason I forgot to purchase a foundation brush. I purchased everything else under the sun for from Bedellium. The cool thing about Bedellium, you guys, is that they're pretty affordable. They're like like I think you know they're they're in the like you know ten, twelve to kind of seventeen dollar range each brush. And they're professional, professional quality. They just don't, they're marketed towards professionals, but you can get them off the Bedellium website. So if you need brushes that work, let's see what's going to happen with this. 
I wanted to start with, what did I say again? I wanted to start with some foundation to kind of create a, a nice base for me to try all this makeup. Um, let's just map out where we're going to start. Now this this foundation, like I've been I've spoken about this foundation before, and this has been in my life for God knows how long. Um I I looked it up and I think the Luminous Silk is like 20 years old. And the thing is it's still beating a lot of the the newer stuff. Although I do have a whole bunch of foundations I'm waiting on to give it a try that I purchase. Just like being influenced off the internet so let me this is oh, this is a favorite right now the bk beauty 105 it's the huge foundation brush and basically you can see i have a very minimal effort in blending that out the first brush I wanted to try was the Bedellium Face Sculpting Brush. And the reason why I liked this brush just online, because everything I bought online went off the Bedellium website, was that it looked um, short and kind of like dense as well, which I feel like I haven't really found in many sculpting brushes just yet um also let me give you guys some context the reason why i chose the brand bedellium is because my daughter who is a prof professional child model i kept on seeing you can't really see i kept on seeing this brand in on set for her and um and i remember seeing this huge br brush and i was like what is that and i had a quick look it was a, the bedellium brand so i was like as soon as because i had seen it for at least at least minimum four three to four times i've seen this brand in different sets um of ella's work and i'm like wow i am officially curious now as to how good these things are the rare beauty contour stick okay so this one is called good energy <laughs> so what I learned is that we got to go a little higher and this product here this rare beauty product is super emollient you really don't need a lot so we need to like make sure we don't get because it feels actually it feels so nice going on your skin it's easy to get in there okay uh, the one thing that you know that I noticed about contouring people contouring is that people just contour you know like people who have learned how to contour off online I guess they just do the like standard contouring even if their face doesn't need it okay so what I'm trying to say is yes I have a large forehead <laughs> and um contouring my forehead is super appropriate there's some people who have very cute small foreheads like half of my size you guys do not need to contour anything up there you guys have beautiful everybody has beautiful foreheads okay but we're trying to get it balanced you have balanced foreheads you don't need to get less forehead okay Be show that forehead to the world okay that was my tip <laughs> so here's the the contour brush let's go in wow it's it's already like i can tell this already has some power to it and okay yes that's gorgeous wow Did you, like, I, that was barely an effort, okay? So, I have been on this whole, like, 
let's check out the brushes let's check out the like cheap amazon brushes which i will not knock you guys there's some really good cheap brushes out there okay you just have to be careful that's all you just have to know what you're doing know what you're looking for so i guess by knowing you can just do your research just watch a bunch of these kind of videos and you'll see what's worth and what's what it's what's not worth it what's worth the money i mean okay the cool thing about this as well is i don't have to switch brushes awesome you see that also we don't want to we got to make it kind of precise but don't be too crazy okay we kind of want to look somewhat organic still okay do you see how that like i'm like not i love i love my forehead honestly but i realize that it looks so much nicer if it's a little bit balanced if there's a little like you know shape to it okay so make sure we're like blending straight into the hairline even though i like to wear my hair in front of kind of like in front um just like the angles you kind of want to make sure okay so this is okay i bl blended this is the cool thing about having foundation on already you can kind of like mold it a little bit your mistakes so what we're trying to do here is like create a scoop and i love using the um rare beauty uh color because it has like a bit of warmth to it as well as a bit of coolness it's almost like a mixture like it's almost it feels kind of neutral neutral no it still still has echoes of more warmth so it it kind of can look more bronzer on the bronzer side as opposed to contouring side and the reason why i'm contouring up here is also just to give my eye a bit of a lift there i'm really impressed with that that's that's amazing i love it i love okay the next um brush we're gonna try we could try the concealing brush here okay okay i'm gonna go in my trusty favorite the il maquillage whoops you have to be very careful go underneath that contour underneath and just we don't need much we just need okay and i've got a bit of redness there as you can see i like to color that a little bit and there's a little bit of redness here as well okay so let's go in with this this brush that's great i love how it reaches in that corner right there oops but you can see that was amazing okay i don't think i've ever seen my concealer blended out like that it kind of they feel great on the skin and i guess most brand new brushes do but this has like a it's like a combination of soft and strong at the same time and i got this one in a kind of a smaller size i feel like is this is it's the studio series so it's actually not the small size no but i really like also what i really like about these brushes the handles are thick so that's like really comfortable super comfortable I went in and I went in with a purpose when I was buying 
these brushes because I wanted to really try some brushes that weren't kind of cutting cutting it for me with the kind of high-end or even the Amazon ones. So I really was interested in getting something a little bit more professional. Okay. Amazing. So I bought two of the concealer brushes because I, I just needed two. I'm going to use it to apply some eyeshadow. Now, yesterday I did like a really, I was excited about this combination I got into. This one I'm using, okay, I'm using the Naked 3 palette. And right now I'm using Limit. I'm really into this Limit color. Just to warm up my eyelids a bit. Okay, let's get into limit. Okay, so as a eyeshadow brush, it's okay. It's okay. It's more, it's real primary job, this Bedellium concealer brush is, I can tell it's mainly for cream. So I think like a cream shadow would work really well with this because it, it really enjoyed blending out my cream. Factory. Side. Just think of it kind of like hugging a little bit, like a C shape, but more like a V shape, but blend it out. Okay, so let's go back into factory. Factory, make sure, otherwise, you get droopy. So it's all, it's very, makeup is a very, can tend to be very precise, but not, you know, I still don't like it when it's too perfect. You know, sometimes I feel like you end up looking like a painted doll and, which is fine, I guess, for some people, but for my personality and my style, I kind of tend to be a little bit more rugged a little bit more loosey-goosey, okay? Right, I like that. It's just something simple. We could probably go in, actually. Okay, this is the next brush that I'm trying. This is the large smudge, okay? So we can go in underneath with the Naked Factory shadow. A small angle brush. You can never like have too many of these guys, you know? It's a really good when you want to do a smoky with your eyeliner. Or you could just simply use it with a darker shadow. Um, like this last one right here. And on the Naked 3 palette, it is called Dark Heart. Oh, it's a kind of like a shimmery. Let me get organized here. That's what it looks like there. Beautiful. I love this Naked Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Of course, of course it's going to work. Everything else is working really well. So this is like so cute, right? It's kind of like in, in the camera, it looks orange, but in person, it's more of a peach. I guess it kind of looks peach there, but it's even more peach in person. If you can compare it to the yellow. There goes my setting spray, yellow one. I'm going to go in with this. This here, this is the tapered contour powder brush. And this is the 944 contour. I'm gonna go in with my new favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I discovered this at CVS and um, this is like not a new discovery. A lot of people are crazy about this. It's like 9,000 reviews online and all that jazz, but oh, it smells like shea butter or something. 
So it's very powerful, very, very, very powerful. I would go the tiniest dot and then even tap that excess because we really don't need a lot. We're just like setting our contour slash bronzer in, but it does give The brush is amazing. Okay. I'll make sure it's all blended out. Okay. Like, I don't want to go too intense on the nose, so. I am just going to leave that for the powder gods, okay? Let's do... Okay. And I was excited about this one. This is the Tapered Contour 944 Green. Um, let's give it a try. I wanted to use my Givenchy powder. The Prisme Libre. Okay. okay. What this will do as well, it will like sit and kind of calm down any red overly over the top redness that contouring and bronzes sometimes okay pretty standard um brush uh, nothing spectacular besides the fact that we can go in, but we can do that with a lot of brushes. This is a synthetic brush, so it's more for like fun than anything. Like it just jazzes up your kit a little bit. Uh, it's the Pink Bamboo Series, face 974. Oh. Um, it's okay. I can tell already. It's a little bit not like highly dense, so it's more for fun. Again, um, I'm not sure how the blush situation is going to go. I am going to get my favorite Hourglass Elephant palette. Let's do it. Let's let's start off with some highlight over here. Like let's go in with that. It's just the, a whisper of a highlight. Just this L shape right here. Because mm -hmm. we want to look kind of glowy. And then let's go in with the more kind of peachy tone for your blush. Okay, see, I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to pick up as much as I thought because it is synthetic and it's not meant, this is not made for um, powder. This is more, well, <laughs> it says it's made for powder, but uh, it's more like a finishing powder situation. You got it? It's one from, oh, I love this, Lamora brand. It's also synthetic but it's just a little bit fluffier. You see that? It's already picked up so much, okay? It's it's just, it's a mixture of like the density of the brush and the quality. And this was cheap, but just like the Lamora range on Amazon is amazing. You see that? Bananas. Amazing. Rare Beauty Lip Oil to finish all of that off. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Bye.